What is up everybody? I feel like it's been a while since I made a video for this channel. We've just been really busy this week and to be honest, I've just been completely forgetting. I have been neglecting the Jeebus family and I apologize for that. But you know what? I'm starting one right now. It's like a little bit in the afternoon on Sunday. We just released a video on Treasure Hunting with Jeebus. It's performing really well. So thank you guys. I hope you are. I'm glad you've been enjoying that storage unit so far. And we got a lot of work to get done. Hey, everybody want to know how you doing? How you doing? You've been mad today. He does not want to like sit alone. He needs to be in somebody's arms like 24 seven today. That, that's okay normally, but we got work we gotta do. Uh, usually you smile when I do that. Now you're just getting mad at me. So in here, we've been working on the auction. As you can see, we got a lot of stuff done on this side, this side, still fairly empty, but I have a lot more stuff in the garage and a lot more stuff I have to go unload from the truck to finish this up. So let's go out there. Doesn't that side of the garage just look absolutely ridiculous? I mean, look how much stuff we have out here. If you didn't see the main video channel yesterday, first off, shame on you, how dare you? But number two, we announced that we're having our big $1 yard sale March 23rd this month. So 2024, first one. March 23rd, Broly's first yard sale. If you've already sent us an email, you're on the list. We'll be starting to send things out in the next couple days. If you're not, I'll put the email on screen right here. Send us an email there and we'll get you something in the next week. It only allows us to send a couple hundred emails a day and we have a couple thousand emails. So it might take time before you see something, but we're working on it. As you can see, the truck is still pretty freaking loaded back here. I'm about to start working on this. Most of it is going to the yard sale pile over here, but there are a few boxes in here that have the good like higher end stuff that we're putting on this table this table is stuff that goes inside for whatnot after we sort it and then yeah everything else is going to the yard sale there's a lot of good stuff at this yard sale i mean lamps the gumball machines the freaking furniture and yeah i don't even know what else is back there y you guys can see all that all empty and done and the yard sale pile grows even more ridiculously big. I'm barely gonna be able to shut the door. Soon we're gonna have to start filling up this side over here. Try to keep it separate with auction and yard sale, but it looks like these piles are gonna start flowing together here soon. Now that the truck's cleaned out, Broly ate six ounces and he's kind of KO'd. We don't know for how long. During the day he likes to take like 10 minute power naps and then be up all day. He's kind of got my genetics so I can't blame him. I don't sleep either and I probably pass that on to him. But anyway, now it's time for us to fix food because we're starving. And you see what we got going on? Bunch of ground beef. Today is taco day because I have a bad taste for tacos. I really do. Forget taco Tuesday. It's taco Sunday up in here. It's taco day, whatever day we have a taste for tacos, that's what it is. But right now, some 80-20 ground beef, beating it all up with a spatula, seasoned with our taco seasoning right there that has no sugar in it at all, and it's smelling so good. So this morning, I woke up, I weighed myself another 1.6 pounds down, I just did the math, I'm 4.8 pounds away from being 100 pounds lost since April 1st of last year. I said I wanna do that in a year, so I basically have almost one full month, and if it gets down to two weeks left, I'm gonna be super, super strict, because I am definitely not gonna not do this. I'm definitely hitting this 100 pounds in under a year goal. If I have to like fast for a day or two, the last day or two, then I'll do it. I, I'm doing it, I swear I'm doing it. My gosh, feels good. And we get to eat food like this. What other weight loss program do you get to eat tacos, cheeseburgers, and steak and lose 100 pounds? Not many. So I drained all the grease out of the beef onto that plate in that bowl right now, and now it's time for the secret ingredient that makes it delicious. Queso, baby, queso cheese. Oh, yes. Yeah. This makes it so good. Egg life wraps, zero carbs, 25 calories only. Like, I don't really give a crap about calories, I just like to point it out, but Zero carbs. Boom, zero carb egg wraps, it's fresh shredded zero carb cheese, zero carb beef, with zero carb seasoning. Literally nothing in that entire plate, baby. Look what I got. Oh, he was just moving. I thought he was starting to wake back up again, but now he's just chilling. <laughs> what I tell you about being on the counter, man? You're not a chicken. You're a little baby. You're the little baby. No smiles today. That's okay. It's now a little after 11.30 p.m. Just got out the shower. We're about halfway done listing the auction, but tonight's kind of special because tomorrow morning we had to get up really early because we have, right now, a huge live storage auction. I think there's two facilities that have 30 units for auction, one that has 20-some for auction. Now, a lot of people are probably gonna pay in the morning, but I bet you we're gonna go to see at least like 20 to 30 units up for auction tomorrow. I'm really excited for that. 1.30 a.m., finally hitting the bed. 
probably won't go to sleep for another hour. Then we got to get up at 7 something. We got to leave by 8 to go to that storage auction. So hopefully we can get a little bit of sleep. Good morning, everybody. My eyes probably look horrible right now, huh? Yeah. I just woke up about two minutes ago. And it's like 7.40 right now. I didn't go to sleep till close to 4. So didn't get too much sleep last night. But I'll be fine in like 10 minutes anyway. The auction I'm going to is like in a really bad location. Like the worst parts of Richmond. So... I'm probably going to just go alone because I don't want her to have to bring Rolly and then have to walk him around and be around. It is a lot of people over there and it's not good. So I'm going at this alone. I got everything I need. I got locks. I got money. I got a gun if need be. And I'm ready. There's about 30 auctions or 30 units today and 29 tomorrow. So let's see if we get something. Am I the only person that always tells yourself you're gonna get up, you know, 20 minutes earlier so you can fix something to eat real quick and you have breakfast, something to keep you through the day? And then that time comes and you think, well, food or 20 more minutes of sleep. And you just choose 20 more minutes of sleep and get up right before you have to leave. Maybe it's just me. So I got caffeine and zero sugar, not much else in whatever kind of good chemicals are in there. I don't know, but it wakes me up and that's all I need right now. So I'm about to get on the road and head to Richmond. Made it out here to the U-Haul storage facility. I left like way too early because sometimes, you know, the traffic in the city can all of a sudden take an extra 45 minutes with you know no warning so we're here at 8 35 the auction's not even supposed to start till 9 so we got 25 minutes of just chilling in the truck until we see something that auction man 26 units not one that i would have taken for free literally not one i would have taken for free at all so I don't even know what to say. I really don't. We're at the next place. This one's supposed to have 19. I don't know how many they're going to have at the end of the day or once the auction starts, but we'll see. I was hungry because I haven't eaten last night since like 6 p.m. So it's now about noon. I got little grilled chicken from the grocery store. So I'll sit here and wait because it's going to be about a 20 minute wait till the next one starts. This one's kind of cool because it's like right next to the Richmond Flying Squirrel Stadium, which looks nice. But if you're actually from this area, you know the area by the stadium is not the best. Still sitting here. It's been over an hour. I don't know where everybody's at. Like all the people for the auction are here, but the employees, I don't know where they went. I guess 26 units is a lot to, you know, have people wait in line, pay for and all that stuff. So... I don't know. Hopefully it starts soon. I'm getting bored in the truck. Well, I'm back in my house now. That last auction waited all that time. Absolute garbage too. There wasn't, there was actually two units that were decent, but they were 10 by 10s, a lot of furniture included with the stuff. So I didn't feel like dealing with it, to be honest with you. I don't have no other excuse. I just didn't feel like dealing with all that stuff. But there's another one tomorrow morning. And I think as of now, they have 28 units. So hopefully we still have at least around 20 come morning time tomorrow. And hopefully they look better than they did today. Time for simple food. Bacon, over easy eggs, freshly shredded, extra sharp cheddar cheese with no carbs. Mwah. Good morning, now it's Tuesday morning. I actually got sleep last night. We didn't really do nothing yesterday. Came home from the auctions, ate some food, and I kind of laid on the couch and fell asleep for like an hour or two. And then, really, we just watched TV and then went to bed again, so. You know, I actually kind of well rested. It's a nice, unique feeling here. But today we're heading to the other live auction where they, sh as of yesterday, had 28 units, so I'm hoping today they still have at least 20, and we're gonna buy something, hopefully. So we just got home from that storage auction, and again, there wasn't one unit I would have paid $1 for just garbage but I did win one two hours up north out of my eye on for three thousand one hundred dollars and we're gonna go check that out tomorrow but for now we got a lot of stuff in our PO box right here let's go through it really quick check this out oh we got a horde of mini Dragon Ball Z figures Dragon Ball Super figures thank you very much we appreciate it did I say who it's from I know one has to be from Pat Pat Grizer no. Okay. No. Well, so maybe it's the other one. Whoever sent this <laughs> we appreciate it, but I don't know who it is. But whoever it is, thank you. <laughs> this one, we kind of open these to make sure they're not spam because we get a lot of spam hey. too. Look at this. I forgot about this. Baby on board. Baby on board. Just open this because I don't know what's in there. Let's see what we got inside. All right, a couple little baby toys. Broly said thank you. Baby oh, cool. toys and. Wild and free. What is that? Swap? Uh, no, it's no, bibs. bibs. It's a bib. Oh, and a teether at the end. Nice. He's going, he's seven weeks tomorrow, so ah. he's going to start needing it too. It's like a whole care package. 
Look at this. I'm gonna set it right here, right? Yeah. Let's see. What does that say? I, I make, make the, the rules. rules. What he size does. is that? It is size uh, three to six. All Perfect. right. Perfect. He's, he's about in three months right now. So. Oh yes, this one. Perfect. Live, Live in the dream. The dream. Nice. The little that is cool. <laughs> that is cool. That's What's the blue, blue one? one? Oh, but first milk. But first. Yes, that is him. That 100%. is definitely him. <laughs> My God, I've never seen one. It's just him. Then they have oh look, cozy cover, sun and bug for the car seat. Nice. That's pretty cool. Why is our ring going off? I don't know who's at our door right now, but should we answer it? No. <laughs> no. This one. This one's got the card in it. Or these two. Did these both come in here, or did we put um, them in there? We uh, it? I put them in there. They're two letters. Okay. So we have two letters. Thank you guys. I like to read these, but not on camera because they're long. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes they're kind of personal. And yeah. Stuff, but I do like to read these letters, so thank you for that. And what do we have in here? No. Oh, this is kind of funny. You know, I bought oh. this on whatnot like two months ago when it first released, and then they lost the package, so they refunded me, and then like a month later they found it. So now I have a free Super Boo. Kind of cool. Free Super Boo. And there's another couple letters in there, but I don't read the letters on the camera because, like I said, you know, they're kind of private things. Let's go to here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Look Family size. Boo. Boo. Modern Boo cereal, and then we got Boom Cell. Cell. We have every single family size except for Frieza right now. We are just missing so, Frieza. If you guys don't know what Frieza looks like, that, that is, is Frieza right there. That is the only one family size one we're missing now. What about Frieza. regular size box? Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. I have to go check. Let's okay. see what's in the bottom box. Coming at stay, stay, stay. Uh, this is. Cereal, baby, in plastic wrap. Margin Boo. Oh my God. This giant size. Oh man. Oh, this is like both exciting and not exciting because now I, there's another one. I'm jeez, have to jeez. I'm gonna get every single variant of every single box there is. I didn't even know there was giant size. Yeah. Apparently, our first giant's Boo. Oh my Thank God. you very much. Look at the size of that. Okay. <laughs> So now we know there's family size, there's giant size, and there's regular size. And we're gonna collect them all. The two little ones here, let's see what's in this guy. Hey, look. Golden Azuru. Nice. That's pretty cool. Dragon Ball <laughs> GT right there. Beautiful figure. And then we have a blanket. Hand crocheted blanket. Blue, green, white. Nice. Beautiful color. <laughs> Is that one? Oh, there's a letter in there. That's a card in that one. A card, I can open it. A gift for Baby Rolly. I'm not going to show the whole thing, but thank you so much, Nancy. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Don't forget, today, March 5th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going live on WhatNot. We have 96 lots, all $1 starts, insane stuff, crystal, Pokemon, the freaking Cutco knives that 200 people told me are worth hundreds of dollars. All of this stuff behind me tonight at 6 p.m. I hope to see you there. Until next time, peace out.